What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up there guys? This is Dibalen Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel. Football from the fans perspective. Welcome back, welcome to our new video, of course. Uh, if you are new, I would like humbly ask you to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and let us enjoy the conversation in the, in the, in the, in the, in the comment section. And you can also go back and check our videos as well. I think, I believe there's, there's content that you can engage on that you can participate on in the videos that were released and it has been th three months right now three months right now we started 29th of september and uh, and right now is the, the first of december the, the last day of the year the last day of the year and we, we've been pushing to be honest we've been pushing we are at around 200 plus uh, subscribers right now 200 plus only three months to me it's, it's a very great achievement very great achievement it's not easy it's not easy to be honest and this message is specially dedicated to the subscribers to be honest to say in doing something like this where you don't have a uh, supervisors you don't have a boss you don't have someone who's monitoring you it is the subscribers that keep me up awake keep me working doing my homework and thinking i need to produce content and i need to push myself forward of course I would have been here even if it was without subscribers but because i it's, it's, it, i would be here because i love football because i love what i'm doing but subscribers become that motivation to say wake up do your homework it's 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 not just you know enough to say you love something you need to that motivation and subscribers are there i appreciate you you guys i appreciate you you, you mean a lot to me you mean a lot to me the new ones that are going to come in 2020 that are going to be subscribing and 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 engaging in our in our content i appreciate it i appreciate it a lot i thank you very much and i relish comments i relish the comment section i relish people that are giving me some sort of advices people that are criticizing me it means a lot to me because you don't want to move your journey without critics when you do that you you are running a risk of losing the trail and not realizing that you are you are far away from what you are supposed to be doing and people that are criticizing people that are commenting people that are advising they give you that sort of you know they become that sort of a compass to you to say i'm still in, in in the train and i need to do this i need to improve on this and not because you need to take everything that people say you need to take the take it process it i, I take i take advices i process advices and and i improve where i need to improve where i think it's just a critique that is is not meant to to, to grow me then i move forward i take it and i move forward so I appreciate people that are engaging in our, in, in our content, people that are engaging in our channel, people that I meet on the streets that are giving me that motivation, giving me that, those advices. I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate you a lot. It means a lot to me. 200 plus subscribers, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. And I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Kaiser Chief supporters, Orlando Pirates supporters, Mamelo Sundowns, GTM, Black Leopards, you know, Golden Arrows, Swallows FC, Everyone, everyone, Captain City, Chipper United from home, everyone, all supporters, I wish you a happy new year. 2020 was a very challenging year, to be honest. For all of us, it has been a very hectic one. People went through depression, they lost their lives. People, you know, they lost their marriages. People lost, you know, their houses because they lost their jobs. They lost their sources of income. People were kicked out because they couldn't pay rent. A lot of things happened. People who had dreams to graduate. Those dreams were defeated, and and it has been a very hectic one. And we need to enter 2020, 2021 with a different attitude, with a more better attitude. We had plans in 2021, in 2020, and they were deferred by the COVID, by the lockdown. But there's no reason for us to not push again. To be honest, there's no reason to, to not push again. We need to take motivation from people that, you know, during the challenging year of 2020, they managed to get their graduations, they managed to get, you know, new uh, uh, build houses. They managed to buy something for their parents. Managed to buy something for their children. They managed to buy, to get some things for themselves. They managed to buy a, a car. They managed to do something. They managed to get married, you know, to find love. People, 2020, as much as it was so challenging, people, some people, you know, found opportunities and they took advantage of that. And we need to take motivation from that. It's, if we can't take motivation from the positive things, we are going to be a depressed people. We are going to be a depressed people. So we take motivation. But one thing that we need to speak about is the COVID-19 thing. Because 
I did speak about it in my in my video that we're going to have to take cautions. We're going to be very cautious about how we conduct ourselves. We're going to have to sanitize. We're going to have to to practice social distancing. We're going to you know to clean our hands to be hygienic and all that because we don't want to go back to the days of lockdown. The days of lockdown were very terrible, and right now the country decided to take a decision to say level three, advanced level three, sort of a thing. That looks like a, a lockdown and, and it has a potential to take us back to that moment that we don't want. So we need to take personal responsibilities. We need to be individualistic as much as we are collective about this thing. We need the government to come in, but we need to act as individuals. We need to take personal responsibility because we don't want to go back into that, those dark days. During lockdown, it's bad. It's terrible for everyone. It's bad for business. It's bad for our lives. It's bad for our our spirituality is bad for our you know physical health is bad for our emotional health so we don't want to go back there and then we're going to have to take bold steps into taking care of ourselves the message of of, of, of covid 19 may seem like it's old you know it may seem like it's old to other people and outdated to be honest it's not old people are really dying people are catching this thing and this thing is very bad because if you're not dying from it it's going to be indirect consequences of that thing where you're going to get sick you go to hospital, you cannot be attended to because there's COVID-19 here. Or you are sick, you are admitted in the hospital, but you don't get the emotional support from the family because families cannot now come and support their loved, one, loved ones that are sick in the hospitals. There's no visit anymore. And trust me, without a visit, if you are not okay, without a visit, without people that you love, it makes things even more terrible. So let us take personal responsibility. Let, let's not wait for people to force us. Yes. I, personally, I condemn how the police, South African police, you know, have been conducting themselves. They, they, they sort of almost reminded us of the dark days of apartheid and the dark days of, on how policing has been in South Africa, you know. Known for terror, known for intimidation, more known for abusing people's dignity and their rights. And those are things that we don't want right now. The country and the whole world is in the middle of a pandemic. And everyone is in a shock, in a state of shock. Everyone is not fine. It's, it's, it's a very anxious state. It's a very volatile state. And people are still learning new behavior. We're still learning. It's COVID-19, you know, things that we need to do, wearing a mask and everything, new behavior. It needs time. It needs, it has to culturize in our system. And it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy to do those things. So you find people without masks, you don't go around and harass them. Don't go around and beat them up, you know, take their fireworks and do the terrible things that I saw on social media that are very depressing. Instead, you are dealing with people that are under a pandemic. The police and the security services and everything, their duty is to help them. The duty is to help us. The duty is to educate the nation. It's not to harass the nation. So it's, it's those regrettable things under lockdown that we need to avoid by taking care of ourselves by avoiding contracting this virus and going to 2021 we need to 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 start 2021 with a huge motivation to be honest if you had lost your job you need to go back and pick up yourself if you thought you were going to graduate and your dream was defeat you need to go and try again you need to go and try again there's no reason for you to not try again if if your business was stopped because of the lockdown and everything you need to go and start again. You need to go and start again. But one thing that we need to note is that maybe we need to improve in terms of how we do things. We need to readjust our things because the COVID-19 thing re requires us to readjust everything that has to do with behavior. The way we do our business, the way we study, the way we relate to each other, the way we relate to our families, the way we relate to our friends. Everything has to be readjusted, has to be rethought. And that rethinking is it's, 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 it's a very bold step. It's, a, it's gonna be gonna take a very bold step. We the fact that we are still here today, the fact that we still managed to push up until 2020, 20, the end of 2020 means we are the bold ones. It means we are the very bold ones. We are one of the few bold people in our lives, and we need to take that positive, and we need to take that positive energy to 2021. Everyone that is subscribed here, everyone that is watching here, I wish you a happy new year. Let's enter 2021 in a very bold step. Let's take a very bold step. If you want, you are thinking about a business, take that step. You are going to fail, of course. If you fail, take the step again, push forward. If you wanted to build a house, 
continue with the plans that you wanted to, to do in 2020. Let's continue with them. Let's not abandon plans because of lockdown. No, life has to continue. Our lives have to, have to progress. Of course, with readjusted behavior, readjusted ways of doing things, but we don't have to stop. We don't have to stop. That's one thing that I wanted to say. 2020 disturbed us. Football-wise, it disturbed us. Disturbed us. COVID-19 disturbed us. Kaza Chiefs was about to win the league and everything happened and it was a mess. It was a mess and, and we don't want that. We don't want a lockdown again where there's no games again. Started in Europe. Already in Europe, game of Liverpool, I think it was Manchester City, postponed. Game of, of, of Tottenham postponed. Game around Southampton postponed. And it means COVID-19 again is readjusting itself. Is You know, it's, it's coming very harsh on us. And... And we don't want to see those things locally. We don't want to th see those things in the entire world because it's, it becomes very depressing. It becomes very depressing when there are no games. Fans already just disturbed the football. Fans can no longer go to the stadium. Games also, there's doubtful games of Kaiser Chiefs in going to Angola and all that. It has an impact on us and we need to do our, our, our own part. We need to play our own role. As much as we want the government to play a role, we need to play our own role. It has disturbed us in, food, in football. We don't want that. If Kaiser Chiefs is leading, Mabino Shanaans is leading, Fernando Perez is leading, we don't want COVID-19 to come and mess everything up. And going to 2021, Kaiser Chiefs fans and Kaiser Chiefs is a team we're going to have to forget about 2020. A lot of things happened in us 2020. Very terrible things, shocking things that happened in, for Kaiser Chiefs as fans. We need to forget about that. We must not come with that negative energy of 2020 in 2021. Everyone else, that applies even in life. There was something that messed up your life. Some negative energy is going to have to be left in 2020. Go to 2021, try again. It's never too late to try again. It's never too late to try again. And that's, 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 that's one thing that I wanted to say. For me personally, there are things that I'm trying again. There are things that I'm pushing that I thought they may have been deferred by 2020. And I'm thinking 2021, I'm going to push hard. I'm not going to stop. Whether there's lockdown, whether there's no lockdown, I'm going to push hard. So that's one thing that I wanted to say. Thank you very much for those that have been supporting us. Otherwise, from me, as Dibana in the Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel, football from the fans' perspective, I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.